So hey, how's it going, members of the Shin Society? And we got another means for the sham going into volume 25. And obviously, like, um, we're, we got some, a bunch of more memes. And obviously, if you see from the background, we got some Evangelion with uh, the member. But now in its uh, more humanistic anime vibe body, I guess, if you want to go with that. But yeah, like, like I said, uh, this is another means for the sham. But I don't know what to expect, except for the randomness. Maybe some wholesomeness. Maybe some cringe, maybe all around. But before I do that, let me hit that intro. Time to deliver a another video by the sham. Alright, and it says right here, when your mom opens your mail. Yep. And you're going to jail. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, it's just like the fact how like, um, it's funny because like, usually there's like instances where it says, oh, it, it has your name, but it's basically like about like, um, the health coverage and basically like, yeah. That doesn't mean that it... it it's like legally yours even if it like has like your well it, it is i don't know like the situation between like the male is like very very like like weird but i know that the for sure that if you open someone else's mail that is not yours that that is an offense and yeah but i don't i don't think this one i don't think if if it's between family i don't think it's like that deep but i could be wrong i don't know but what a way to start. Obsession. They come with packaging oh, that it, does the purpose that this is doing. The cereal came in a box that does the same thing. The, the bags came in a box that hold them. You can put them in the drawer. The chili flakes have oh. a little thing that they're inside. A little container. They don't need a fancy label. There's, it's written on the container. You don't need to do this. This oh is an obsession. God. No, like, to answer your question, this is basically, like, people that want everything tidy and all in, like, in a very neat spot and just, like, packaged perfectly. Um, that's basically why. Obviously, like, um, I did not know what the heck this was. But, like, if I'm being honest, this thing is way more useful than, obviously, the cutter for tinfoil. Because, um... I have a hard time trying to cut some tinfoil when I have to, like, get it, like, perfectly so I could, like, wrap my food. And, obviously, like, this would be way more better because it's, like, one swipe, cut it perfectly. But, I, I do agree. There's, there, for everything, there is, like, the little tool that comes with it. Like, for cereal, there's a method how to literally put, put the cereal, like, how it goes. Um just like a container would and all this other stuff but like <laughs> this th from here um this is a lot extra for sure it's a lot extra stuff come on you did all your homework yep good job let me see what you did oh gosh what's I i'm afraid girl? what's this oh alvera dope mm. oh <laughs> she just want to say. <laughs> she, she's trying to hold that laugh. It's called a. Uh, we call that a lady of the night. That's what I was uh, referred to when, <laughs> when I was like literally out there. In school, they were telling me, "Oh, just call a lady of the night." I was like, "What?" But that's a tool. I was like, "Yeah." But if you don't want to get in trouble, just say it like that. I was like, okay. D&D question. What's the best character death you've seen in a game? My Wait, did he say D&D? Well, I don't play D&D, so I don't know. Let's see what this man has to say. Mine was in college. One of the players in my group had created a gnome paladin. And mm -hmm. His ultimate quest was to discover a magical way to make himself tall. What? That player had just graduated, so we were kind of curious how the DM was going to write him out of the story. Mm -hmm. Near the end of the session, we were kidnapped by an enemy that was composed of pure light. 
It was one of those light. too powerful for you to face right now type villains. And we knew we were going to have to figure out a way to escape. Mm -hmm. My friend's gnome gave us a wink and stepped forward. The he gnome. made a quick charisma roll to buy us some time while we tried to sneak out. Okay. The enemy rolled high, though. And as he saw us sneaking away, he began to charge up an enormous nova of radium damage. Our gnome waited until the last second, then threw himself between us and the blast. In his last moment... His shadow stood taller than even a giant. Okay. And it sheltered all of his friends from a killing blow. D&D &D question. Well, I mean, he did get what he want, what, what the person wanted. He said he wanted to be taller, and obviously, like, it did work, but only the shadow. But uh, the requirement for him to get that was if he sacrificed himself. Huh. Well, I guess that's his... Um, Memorable, memorable death that he's seen in a and d game. Hmm. But yet again, I don't, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, so uh, I don't know too well about like the characters and all that. You'll never guess what this anime is about. Okay. I was perusing the internet the other day, and I just ha like obviously like um. Yeah, there's a lot of anime, so I I'm probably not gonna be able to get it. Happened to stumble on this animation that blew my mind. How have I not recognized this gorgeous anime before? I mean, it came out it looks beautiful. two years ago, and it only has three episodes. <laughs> when I, I see a rabbit, it's reminding me of ReZero. It, Sun Creature Studio. It looks as whimsical as a Ghibli film showing multiple distinct characters and creatures. Mm -hmm. The food animation looks delicious, and the Look environment looks full of life. It the does. The colorful backgrounds give you warmth, as if inviting you to go on a Horses. grand adventure. That's what a big is fish. the title of this anime, you ask? Ooh. Well, it's called Only Slightly Exaggerated, and mm -hmm. it's an ad. What? For Oregon. <laughs> You'll never... Well, damn, well, they made Oregon look very beautiful based on a, on a anime basis. But, like, yeah, like, watch it just become an anime. Like, obviously, it may, it may not be an anime now, but, like, in a few years, they're going to be like, you know what, Let, let's go back to that one ad that we did for Oregon. And let's just make that thing a real anime. Watch it just become that. Because I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my. Uh, but that's not, that's not the border. <laughs> that's a Costco line. <laughs> oh my gosh. But like, yeah, like, during like the weekend, if you try to go for gas, it piles up like this. Almost like the border. <laughs> If you want to go with that, um, what's it called? Reference that they're giving. Hey, we got the Toad Enter Smash. Let's see. I think I've seen this one. Where I like he deflects it, I think. Or he betrays. I think. Oh, yeah, he betrays. He's like, damn. He's like, I'm free. I'm not blocking your attacks anymore. Damn. That's how he's gonna enter Smash. Being that Smash is already over. <laughs> Wait, is this Elden Ring? Yeah. It's very popular right now. Oh yeah, how many Oh I I kinda wanna play it just to see like how like the feel is. But like I feel like I'm gonna get very angry like very fast because like it seems like a game that has very unexpected deaths out there. Like, basically, like, you're just, like, adventuring and then freaking out of nowhere, like, an enemy would pop out and try to eliminate you. Like, this person did, like, was trying to eliminate, like, a spider, if I could see it well. And basically, doesn't see, like, the trap that's going on and literally gets crushed by a hand. So, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe one day I might play it. I don't know. What the? My <laughs> oh, jeez. He, he reacted so out of nowhere. My <laughs> what the hell? He like literally kicked. He kicked the hand and literally just went flying. But no, dude. Like, if someone touches me like that in the leg, I'm hitting whatever the hell's down there. And like, 
I don't care if this was a joke or not. You're getting freaking smacked in the face. And it says right here, this is literally how we teach rescue orangutans that snakes are dangerous. Let's see. Oh, with the plastic snake. It's a good way. It's a good way to train them because that way, whenever they face one of them, they, they know that it's a danger. Being that they travel in packs as well. Look at that. Yeah, let's go, 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 go. Danger, danger, let's go. But like, in a way, that's kind of uh, messed up because like basically like you're scaring every orangutan there. But it's all for the purpose of protecting their, their, uh, their kin and their families. Because that's a lot of orangutans over there, but still. Yeah, and it says right here that it says, these little guys are fine and are learning. See? They're learning. They're learning that basically whenever they see something that's very, very dangerous, um, to just, like, climb up and keep moving forward. Down here. When we look at these together, we have two tens mm -hmm. and one ones. One. Twenty one. one. Okay, if if I'm being honest, like literally, like when I when I had to use these back in, in school, I had no idea what the hell they they were about. I just thought that they were freaking like blocks, and uh, to be very honest, this thing did not even teach me anything. It just taught me like what the hell was a line of a block. That's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and write that into our chart right here, and that would be my cat. <laughs> Who the just cat just stole my tens. <laughs> so just how many the ten. tens did we have? We have two tens. Wait. Yo, yo. Trying try to teach you. Eat your tens. Here. Eat your tens. And we have one ones. Huh? Okay. Okay, Vader. Are you helping? Are you trying to help? Thank it you. just has the paw. I was just like, All right. come on. Let me, let me, you know you want to give me a, another 10? A bit. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he moved the camera. That is messed up, cat. All right. Let's continue. Put these down here. Damn. <laughs> trying, to, trying to put a, a, what's it called, math lesson while there's a cat literally trying to get attention. Damn. That cat is messed up. You're a black man. I am. Because of you, I'm a black man. Mm -hmm. So, half and half. So. No, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> if Damn. I painted my face black, would that be blackface? And if it was blackface being a hate crime, would that be a black owned black crime? I don't think I'm going to say anything about this because. <laughs> but I want to see what. <laughs> What they say. I'm going to tell you why. Why? If you painted your face black, mm -hmm. it would be the completion of a process. And <laughs> it would be disrespectful to your mother, or you would be eliminating him. It's not my fault you ran out of toner when I was born. <laughs> Yo. Well, you koala printer? <laughs> Perhaps we should have tried a different position. What? What? <laughs> Yo! It's another dub. Yeah. So, hey, at least the, at least the dad was playing was playing with the the what's it called with the stance that he was like saying, but like yo, <laughs> hey, at, at least they're like very um, they're very close and not like oh they just say this joke and obviously like the dad gets like all angry at him like saying like why are you saying it and all this other stuff. But, like, Lurdy continues with the joke that he was trying to, like, imply. But, okay. But, like I said, I wasn't going to say anything. Because... Mark, what are you doing? I don't, um, like, oh, I'm gosh. buying stuff to make a mini house in the, the account. How much money is? $51,410. Mm -hmm. 
What? What are you doing? And it's just right here, little dude is buying 15 windows and 16 exterior doors, so I'm not sure how small it is. Wait, but I don't get that. Is this what the kid was are you on the website? Like, let me let me let me try to change right here. Oh, I think this is a legit thing. Why though? Uh, I'm very thrown off. Oh, and I already saw this one. And obviously, like, uh, I'm going to try to put the volume a little bit higher. So, like, you could hear, like, the the Kahoot. And it's just, like, his dancing. Like, following the beat. You have good rhythm. <laughs> oh, wait. It has more. Let me lower it a little bit down. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, no. He's like... I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn, what a reaction. But it's scared of the smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> God damn, somebody took a whole goddamn bite out of this cake. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> I wonder who it could be. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. Ew, why would you do that? Yeah. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> This is your money's worth right here. Got me none, bread. Oh, he looks like an alligator. Oh my god. That's so nice. Wow. Hi, cow. Oh. <laughs> Just like pushes her down. And was that a big potato? Huh. Bob Esponja, primero tienes que hacerle una pregunta. Ah, sí. ¿De qué color es mi calzoncillo? What the heck? Bob Esponja, primero tienes que hacerle una pregunta. Ah, sí. ¿De qué color es mi calzoncillo? Let me show you the color. primero tienes que hacerle una pregunta. Ah, sí. Oh, I see it. It's literally right there. Little das. Damn, you to like nothing. Damn. We just got the decorations for my niece's bautizo, and mm -hmm. it's um basically just a bunch of beer. Bro, we forgot the decorations. Fool. <laughs> what decorations? So we just got. That's like basically like how how it went. Like obviously, like um, it usually happens like that. That basically like oh. Whenever like there's like a celebration of, like of any any sort, there's usually that one pairs of uncles that are like, we'll try to bring something and they just bring a bunch of beers. <laughs> it's like, bro, like we're focusing on the event. We're not talking about just drinking. It's like, wait, what? I thought we were here to drink. Like basically, like <sighs> that's like the usual. That you could expect just a person or an uncle to bring a bunch of beers to any celebration. Go to the briefcase. The bathroom. Okay. No, stop. Yes. What? Briefcase. The bathroom. Okay. No, stop. Yes. Living area. Say living area. Okay. Wait, what? It responds to microphones? Open the briefcase. What? Do what with what? Do what with what? Open the briefcase. I'll walk. Stop. Oh. Turn around. Turn yeah. around. I am running. I am living room. room. This is the living room. <laughs> living room area. This is the living room. Like, how stupid are you? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so basically, like, there's a game that literally, like, you're just trying to, like, um, what's it called? Talk with the character there, and obviously, like, it has to respond to it, to the command that you give. I feel like this would also like piss me off a lot that basically like I would try to give a command obviously it would try to do the completely opposite out of it but okay now listen hey it's uh something Winterman Jensen who uh, was wearing the number one hat a curse will descend on you unless no the please tell me it's not okay immediately 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 no he is cake but like, that's a very elaborate, but well, 
made cake. Italy. To its owner? Yes! Right now? Yo, that actually sound, looks delicious. Oh. Yes, yes! No. Like, in, in a way, it looks like a painting, but like when you cut it, it's just a cake. Like, I, I want to know how, like, the process is, of making this is, is done. Because, like, it looks so much like a painting. But when it comes to literally, like, the final take, which is literally cutting it. It just, like, completely changes your your mindset of what is uh, real and what is cake. And this is right here. The fact y'all aren't using a small sailboat is a crime. <laughs> Run! No! Ah! Boat down! No! The octopus is taking it! No! Man down! No! Hey, in a way, I kind of, I kind of would uh do the same, but like I would like put like a little figure in it. And see, like, what he does to the figure. Maybe he might crush it. But, like, if it does, then... <laughs> now I know what uh, it would do in a situation where... If it was, like, huge. Scary. But this would look amazing. What are you doing over there? Another Elden Ring. Damn, dude. This is gonna get very, uh... This got very popular very fast. So it's definitely a good game, then. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. What do you mean, that one's gonna fall out. Into a statue, bro. You look so out of place, bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm somewhere else, right? Why are you guys talking about a statue? I see you. Me? Oh gosh. I'm God. <laughs> oh! Damn. Oh. What are you doing over there? The guy fell down at the end. No. <laughs> But yo, that's actually so fun. It's like almost like Attack on Titan. Like you turn into a statue. And then you're like, okay, wait for the right moment. Right moment. And they're coming. Now. Freaking become a dragon and <laughs> eliminate them. But yo, that's actually pretty awesome. Picture of you yeah. here. It really is quite incredible. Yeah. Is it true that the first time you got into this get up, this prosthetics, you went to a Starbucks and no one... But that's so wild, how? Like all the makeup and all the other things that they had to do to get Penguin and become Penguin. Damn, like this man has a mustache. Did he have to shave it? No, yeah, no, he, absolutely, yeah. And I ordered an oat milk latte and they seemed very surprised. That <laughs> yeah, he doesn't two, look like an oat yeah, milk latte with, with guy. Two stevia. Yeah, mm -hmm. two stevia. <laughs> Yeah, I think an oat milk latte with you know. What did the rest of the cast of the film think when you when you walked on set? Uh, like, some of them didn't recognize, I mean, obviously not, because I'm just not even there, man. The yeah. Was so extraordinary. Yeah, Jeffrey Wright walked by me and I said, I said, good morning, man. Uh, and he looked at me like he wanted me thrown off the set. Damn. And it says right here, spent four hours applying prosthetic makeup to transform into the penguin. Damn, yeah, dude. Yeah, and, I saw, and then he went over and I saw him talking to the director, and the director pointed back over here, and then he came back. And he was He's like, like oh, that, that's no. our actor. Yeah, and then everyone had to have a... Because it was just... Ex it was extraordinary. I mean, I was just a candidate. It's a, we've got a <laughs> Damn. But that's wild, like, exactly, like, how, how exactly... Like... He went with four hours of prosthetics, makeup, and obviously like, you can't notice anything, just anything about the penguin except for his eyebrows. Like obviously the eyebrows are just, like the the pinpointer because like, you could definitely see like the eyebrows, but like when you see everything else from his facial uh, structure, like you don't see it like resonate with without the makeup. Damn, dude. The makeup people go ham. They really go ham when it comes to makeup design. If oh, it's gonna say it for me. You can touch your door while you're pooping. You're probably not. You're probably not rich. I knew I had me some money. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, when you put it like that. I'm humble. I'm humble.
My situation is humble. Okay, and this one says that it may contain disturbing content. Your discretion is advised. Be aware. Okay, like obviously like it's probably it's probably gonna be the next car because there's still a few seconds and obviously like I, I'm very scared. Like obviously like it may it says right here rest in peace Remy, so uh yeah, it if it does show it, I'm gonna try to block it. This this rat this rat is <laughs> gonna the go best fast. Ever no! Oh damn, no <laughs> I mean, it was bound to happen if it was the car or it was going to be the bird. One of them was going to take him because he was literally just standing there. So, yeah. Damn. I mean, I, can't, I, I could show because it's basically just an animal taking it away. It's not killing it. So, yeah. Oh, no, not another dashy with um, playing Mario Kart. I know that he's gonna get very angry in this one for sure. Okay, what, give me some juice. Okay, hold on. Oh, three hold on, hold on. We're about to do it. No. Quickly, give me a mushroom. Give me a mushroom. Let me go. Yes. Move. Let me second. Put that down. What the fuck happened? No. Damn. Like, if I were to see that, like, I would also quit on the spot. Like. Doing so well, getting hit multiple times, and getting into ninth place very fast. Damn, dude, that's pain right there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ooh. I made you laugh. I don't think that counts. <laughs> ha ha. ha. I love that. What does that mean? Textbook definition of ha ha in English. That means that, that you laughed. All right, what's your Venmo? I'm not going to make you laugh, okay? But if you make me laugh, I'll give you 20 bills. If I make you laugh? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ha ha. Ha ha who? You should laugh. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? That, I guess, the, the joke never fails. Unless if you basically just, like, listen to, like, the, the way that it's going. Because in one way, there are people that are going to be able to catch the joke and be like, oh, you're trying to make me say ha ha, so that way you win. The twenty dollars because that that's considered a laugh. When it, in a definition it says "haha" is already considered a laugh. So yeah, but damn, how the tables have turned. Obviously, like he got hit with the joke, but he won the joke at the end because he learned it. Oh, dude, I I saw this on Twitter not that long back, and oh my gosh, dude, like I'm very excited. For this reveal. I mean, I was excited for this reveal. I didn't expect that it was going to come out, like, here. But the breaking news is legit facts. That basically, like, let's see if it shows more. That, yeah, the Universal Studios Hollywood announced that Super Nintendo World, or basically Super Mario, is going to open in 2023. Like, I'm very excited and... um. Once they're fully done, I'm definitely down to go and explore everything that they got there. Like, they might do, like, a showcase like they did for the one in Japan. Like, obviously, like, I saw the, the reveal of it. Like, how they did it. Like, it looked amazing. Like, it was colorful. It was very detailed. It had a lot of activities to do. And, obviously, it just looked amazing. I'm hoping that it has the same aspect to it. But, Hollywood. Because, like, obviously, like, seeing it from, like, the pictures that they gave and videos, like, it looks like it's going to be a very big spot. Like, let's see if they show more. Like, look at that. All of that that's going to get constructed. And they got until 2023 to finish this. Like, obviously, like, I might, um, what's it called? Give them a follow, so... I could get updates to see like how how's the progress going and all this other stuff. And I see a down bad person right here in the comment section. Damn. Oh no, it's two dogs fighting over a stick. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just leave it alone. 
Just leave it alone. Grab another stick. Damn! Yeah, I love the fact how it says right here, Chihuahuas are the caring of, <laughs> of the dog world. Damn. But, like, I mean, if if you're going with that, if that case, then basically that's the Karen, and this is the big Chad. And obviously, like, Lurdy told that Karen to walk away because that's that stick. That stick is the Chad's. Damn. But, like, if <laughs> I'm obviously taking away from that, but, like, damn, dude, like, Kinda can't win if you're a small dog against a big dog. Kinda can't. But I hope the dog is okay. Battlefront Battle two in Japanese. Are we gonna Fire. Damn. Now I kinda wanna uh watch um what's it called? A Star Wars movie, but in Japanese, I want to see like how they how they go with their emotions, especially that one scene of saying Luke, I am your father, and then we just hear Luke saying no, and alerty all this other stuff. Damn, that actually sounded amazing. Oh, oh man, this is dude. yo, like they sound they sound amazing. They're goaded. They got goaded um act voice actors to voice them. All right, we got another dog or a cat. That's a cat, right? Yeah. That's Sassy. A cat. So what are you doing? Eh, it's gonna go inside the whole thing. <laughs> it's take you forever to get out. <laughs> what the hell was it doing? Okay. Most gangster thing Bruce Wayne has ever done. Oh, just Batman in general. Uh, I guess. Larry like beating up Joker in The Dark Knight. Cause like, bro, like he he didn't hesitate. He was like trying to get the questions out of Joker, and Larry started punching him like so many times and hurting him. Like, dude, that's. That's not like the usual thing that you expect from a hero. Yeah. I but let's see. Fire's no problem for me. As I was saying, the Green Lantern can do anything. Except shut up, apparently. Damn. Someone forgot to take their true blood tonight. Huh. Not a vampire. Seriously? That with the darkness and the vanishing, the, the what, super strength? No. His name is Batman, not Vampire Man. No. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? <laughs> I'm a millionaire. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, like obviously like here's the fact that basically like even though he's just like a, a regular person with money, like he still fights crime. Like he doesn't need a superpower to become like a great superhero like obviously like from the batman movie that that i want to go see like it proves that basically like you don't need superpowers to become a hero like obviously like if you got the money and you got like the the what's it called um the technology to like better your abilities like saying oh you want like to record like, put some context that records with your eye or stuff like that. Like, if you want batterings, like, create them and freaking defend yourself with them. Like, there's stuff like that. Like, obviously, he didn't need power. Like, he has power of his own. And that's what makes Batman just a great hero. But also very, um, what's it called? Very dark. He's very dark. Because he's the Dark Knight. What? And doesn't care about anyone. What's this do? What's the most damn? And also can knows how to literally take away any artifact without them knowing. Damn, just like Catwoman. Oh my gosh, we see Poe in the street. Kung Fu Panda. Damn. 
I feel like there's like a person right there. I think I can see their their feet right there. I think. But I don't I don't think they literally just went on like making that thing making a filter look like it's actually driving it on its own. And this is right here, you need to try pancakes next time. Bro, why is he in the cabinet like that? I don't know. I don't I don't know to be honest. My guy, I, I can't answer that question. You're gonna have to ask them. Go thrifting, that's where all the heat is. Oh yeah, that basically like there's some people that really love to thrift around and like there's there's some fire stuff if you look well. And oh gosh, like the first few seconds that I heard of it. Watch it just be something very, very stupid with the sound. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I love that Grucci. Damn the heat. When you see a Grucci, you know this thing is very well quality. It's like awesome quality that you would get. It surpasses Gucci. Oh yeah, that basically uh um the translation of this is basically saying me and me and the the homies right here um we chilling with some snacks like keep keep putting on keep putting on some more sauce more sauce because we're Mexican. Yeah, like basically, like that's how it is. Like, um, like it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit that much unless you put some hot sauce in it, or yeah, hot sauce. I was about to say something else. So what? That would literally um, shame me for saying. One castle, four player. Task. I don't know what that is. Damn. Like this. These four players know how to play. And they they're not scared to lose. Damn dude, they they killing it. It's like almost like saying they're they're four pro players. So Luigi's like Wow, dude. Yo, they're killing me. Damn, dude. Look at this. The precision to learning not fail is so good. Like, damn, dude. Yo, they're they're killing me. Like you would expect that one of them would fall down in lava and lose like that. But they're so precise following everything. Oh my gosh. They're gonna go against the boss and obviously like Oh no. I feel so bad for the boss. I wonder who it is. <laughs> oh no, it's Larry. Larry's done. Bro, Larry is done. It's GG for Larry. There's already four people against that. And they just like are just having fun. Running around that they're, they're not carrying. That's it. Tell you, GG. Yeah. 
The GG for Larry. <laughs> Cause he lost. Damn, dude. Goats. For the masses. Oh my gosh, Crunchyroll. Let me guess. Is it that one section? Has anyone checked in on Crunchyroll site since they merged with Funimation? I know we're all so excited that they merged oh, together and now I'll, everything's all in one place. I'll and that's also show awesome. You. But I went on oh, Crunchyroll today. Crunchyroll. And and I think that someone over there is either really funny, really mentally ill, but probably both. Let me explain. So when you're scrolling through, it's like pretty normal, you know, you're getting all this good stuff, mystery theme, Toei, blah, blah, blah. Then mm -hmm. you start getting to some Crunchyroll staff picks, Mecha mm -hmm. Madness, you're like, oh, cute. Then we get to watch it for the plot. Okay, obviously, like, uh, let's see. Oh, they changed it up. But if I'm being honest, like it also gave me the same thing that basically it was like saying, um, oh, you got this, um, all this other stuff. Like they did give me the same thing, watched it for the plot, and obviously like, this long one is saying the original light novel was like way too long, so like they did all this other stuff, and um, uh, I'm gonna see like if, if it refreshes it, but yeah, be. I'm being very uh, factual about this. Yeah, that it says right here the some Crunchyroll staff picks. I don't know if it shows it. And they have the English dubs. And obviously, like, it had all of this. The original light novel's name was way too long, so the English title had to be changed in order. Yeah. Wow, you scrolled to the bottom. Yeah, and, and and it shows that where it says right here, wow, you scroll to the bottom, and it really shows it like right here. So, yeah. Just something uh, uh, funny that they have. <laughs> you know what, Crunchyroll? I'm here for it. I also now know that my subscription fee is paying for your therapy. <laughs> I love that. And it says right here, bird copy chainsaw and camera? What? What bird has the most elaborate, the most complex, and the most beautiful song in the world? Well, I guess there are lots of contenders, but this bird must be one of them. The superb lie bird. That's superb lie bird. It does have a awesome chirp. He clears a space in the forest to serve as his concert platform. Mm. Okay. I just want to hear like where it's gonna go with the chainsaw on the camera, like copying like the same sound. To persuade females to come close and admire his plumes, he sings the most complex song he can manage. And he mm. does that by copying the songs of all the other birds he hears around him, such as the kookaburra. The kookaburra. What? It's a very convincing impersonation. Oh, Even the damn. original is fooled. Damn, dude, these sounds are amazing. He can imitate the calls of at least 20 different species. Damn, he's like, and any one of the species that I learned he call from all those 20 birds, like, I'm open, I'm single, like, who wants it? <laughs> like, damn, dude. But I'm still waiting also, for that chainsaw and camera sound. Rivals, incorporates other sounds that he hears in the forest. Oh, gosh. That was a camera shutter. What? Damn. And again. How? How did these birds like literally imitate this so clean? And now a camera with a motor drive. How? I love that. <laughs> it's a car alarm. Where do you hear the car alarm?
I'm gonna call this thing the Im imitation bird because it literally imitates any sound, which sounds amazing. And now the sounds of foresters and their chainsaws working nearby. What? Yo! Yo, what the heck? What? Yo, that bird can literally copy a chainsaw so clean. What? Yo. Those are some goaded birds if they could literally imitate anything that they hear. Damn. Is it this another Elden Ring? No, the elevator left. <laughs> it is another Elden Ring. You Hip idiot. You Damn. fool. No. <laughs> no, the Damn. Aw, oh, and it was going down, I the think. Elevator left. No, it was going down, so. Damn, dude. GG right there. Um. Another Elden Ring. So apparently the theme of this is going to be Elden Ring. Because we're seeing a bunch of Elden Ring. Movement's really simple. I got my movement bananas on the right. Oh yeah, I remember that I watched another um, content creator that also did like the situation of the bananas. That basically like they input cables in it. And it actually works pretty well. Like if you connect them correctly and like test configure it. Like it actually runs smoothly. Like... Even if it looks like a joke, it's actually very useful. Board banana, see. back banana, left banana, right banana. Uh, for our actions, we have jump banana, mm -hmm. attack banana. Let me tell you about attack banana. We got dodgeball banana. Oh, seems to be doing all right. Not the best. Mm -hmm. We have horse banana. This banana up here. Oh, there we go. What's left? Lock on banana. Okay. And heal banana. I think that's everything you need to beat Dark Souls. Oh, Elden Ring. Uh, oh. Movement. Oh damn! Like I, I feel like if he said, "Uh, what's it called, Dark Souls?" Uh, a lot of people would get very angry at him, because this is Elden Ring, not Dark Souls. And this is right here in the comment section. People in 1990, I bet in 2020 we will have flying cars. People in 2022, we have freaking banana controllers. <laughs> Aiming oh. this. Let me see if I can hit this pot up here. First try. Oh no. It's missed. I missed. <laughs> really good at Joke of the century. Who's your noodle? Let's see. That one's okay. Oh, it, it, it's a competition. Uh, I'll choose the one that's right here in the middle. Come on, middle. Come on! No! It fell down! No, I failed. Damn. We're so close. I had to wake up mm -hmm. and get out of bed. Same. And now, I have to go to work! Same. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, that's the grind. Uh, wake up. Then get ready for work, then work, then take a shower after, then sleep, then repeat the cycle again. What an awesome cycle, right? Yeah. I love that. Damn, I, I, I never knew Waluigi had this type of body also. This shit is still so trippy. Look at this fucking building. Why is it getting further away? Huh? Perception. Ooh. It fools your... Your what's it called? Um, Your sense of how you see things. Oh no. Oh no. I don't, I don't like when these content creators go as far as literally trying to like annoy people doing their daily things. I feel like this is gonna be very bad. Um, you cute? Can I get your number? Huh? You cute? Can I get your number? No, <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? It's like, I said, where are the cucumbers? Cucumbers. 
I'm sorry. I misunderstood you, but I'm part of him. <laughs> I was like, wait, what are you saying? Is that where the cucumbers? Oh, you're trying to say like that. Okay. But like, she seemed like such a nice lady. Like I'm saying, like, whenever the content creators do, like, um, like these kinds of pranks or like just things that they do that involve other people, it just sounds, it just feels weird. Cause like, you never know when a person's going to play around with the joke that you're trying to go with. Because there's sometimes people that don't like being recorded and all this other stuff and they get very annoyed. So, yeah. That'll be it for my friend sending me um, memes for the showcase. But we got one more and it's going to be the Like For You page meme of the day by yours truly. So let's see which one I decide to showcase today. I guess if I if I have to, uh, what's it called, showcase, I'm probably going to showcase two. This one, like, obviously... Um, Amazing, amazing song combination. Like, listen to this. Uh, Fire. I can't be your man. I'm sorry. She a fucking fan. Uh, I get bread. All these fucking bands. I'm 70 years old on God. I, so I kind of want to hear to this whole, this whole song. If this is a whole song, I'm definitely going to play this on repeat. Every time, because it sounds amazing. All right, so this is going to be the actual video showcase that I wanted to show for to end off this meme showcase. And obviously, it's just going to talk about ducks. And let's see if you understand where this is going with the story. I was bored, so I got a duck. Mm -hmm. He was lonely, so I got my duck a duck. Mm -hmm. My duck's duck needed a friend, so I got my duck's duck a duck. Mm -hmm. I don't like the odd numbers, so I got my duck's duck duck a duck. <laughs> I was bored. Did you understand the story? He got lonely, so he got a duck. And then after that, another duck. And then again, another duck. And then again, another duck. Maybe we're going to see a constant, uh, a bunch of ducks at the end. And obviously, like it says right here, you were definitely not ducking around. Ha ha ha. I love that. Or the other one. Duck, 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 duck. And then a goose comes out of nowhere. <laughs> But that'll be it for this uh, meme showcase. And obviously, if you enjoyed it, please let me know down in the comment section of which one was your favorite meme out of this whole showcase. And obviously, like, um, don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video and also drop a subscribe for the channel and for my gaming channel that I have. And stay tuned for more videos like this and other ones. And I'll see you all in the next meme showcase and video. All right. Laters.